Okay. There are several breeds of sea. Sea was one of the popular breeds, particularly in the East Coast of America. In the 1700s, early 1800s. Came in different grades. This is uh, what is often called gunpowder tea. When you grind it down, it takes on the look of natural gunpowder. And they're just finer grades of tea. This would be equivalent to Earl Grey today. Um, these kinds of teas that were all nicely ground like this would have been used uh, in the more uh, influential families because it's a little more expensive what you might keep locked up in your tea chest. This, on the other hand, is the, the bitterest use of tea. And they're compressed into a block like this. Now, is that Boston Tea Party style tea? or? Yeah, uh, so there's a story that it was used for the Boston Tea Party because it was cheap and it was used in ballast to ships. But they have not come up with any proof that this was what was thrown into the harbor as opposed to the better. So that's, that's kind of a controversy that's been ongoing. Now you can see it, it came from China. There, There is... Chinese writing on it, and it's divided up into blocks or bricks, and that's where the name of this tea came from, brick tea. You could you over there? break off one of the bricks, put it in your act, carry it around with you. And when it came time to brew some, you just scrape it or use a grater, get it into a teapot and boil it. Or into a a tea caddy of some sort. And nature from the house. That's funny. <laughs> they didn't use hey, that. It's interesting.